right now. Well, Kansas has been one of the lucky towns here in North Queensland because so far, from all reports that we're getting, the damage hasn't been uh, too severe. We've seen uh, certainly uh, tree branches over, for example. The power is out in the city, or the traffic lights are out, for example. But people are up and about and they're having a look at their homes and checking for some damage. Just minor reports so far. Uh, about 2,500 people spent the night in one of the biggest evacuation centres here in Cairns, where I was. Uh, there were no reports of any incidents there. People were really pleased this morning to be able to leave and to be able to get home and check on their own homes. Uh, about 11,000 people spent the night in evacuation centres here in North Queensland and none of those evacuation centres were damaged. But here in Cairns we're still getting very strong winds. I've just been down on the Esplanade uh, along the foreshore there and the waves are just crashing in. Uh, normally uh, they would uh, be a very tranquil, tropical beach, very lovely but it's a different scene. And as we can see there, there is traffic back on the streets. People uh, also walking around. Uh, obviously, uh, life is uh, going to return to, to normal re reasonably quickly. Kim Landers, thanks very much for, for being uh, there with us in Cairns. I understand that uh, we can 